So I think I'm gonna name this video, Eat This, Not That, because that is essentially what I do in order to maintain my personal body weight. I have just learned how to come up with healthier alternatives to some of my favorite fattening foods. And I think that's the trick. I think that the reason most people don't stick to diets is because they feel like they're very restrictive or they feel like they're missing out on something. And when that starts to happen, it's easier to kind of, you know, fall off the wagon. You really have to make a lifestyle out of healthier choices. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my alternatives to pizza, to pot pies, and to quiche, because those are three of my favorites and I wanna eat them and I don't wanna miss out on them. And so I created healthier alternatives. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so these two items right here are the star of the show. You're definitely gonna need a cupcake pan and then you're gonna need these specific tortillas right here. These are made by Mission. They're keto tortillas. They have zero net carbs. They have to be these specific tortillas, not Guero, not whatever any of the other name brands are. It has to be these. I've tried every tortilla, low carb tortilla out there. And these are the only ones that really, really crisp up like you want them to. You can actually pop these in the microwave for about 45 to 50 seconds and break them apart and use them as crackers, chips, whatever. They're so good and they have such a crunch once they're heated. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take these little tortillas and you are going to smush them into each one of these little cupcake holes, just like that. So just like this, and I'm, I'm actually gonna make a little bonus one because I wanna show you one other thing that I like to make and it's just really simple. So now we're gonna fill each cup with the ingredients. Okay, so for the pizza cups, you're gonna need some marinara sauce. You can use this, this is made by Rouse, and it's got lower sugar content and lower carb content than, you know, Ragu or another brand, but it does have actually more fat. So either one is fine, it just depends on if you're trying to eliminate carbs or not. Then you're gonna need some turkey pepperoni. Of course, turkey pepperoni is just lower fat than regular pepperoni. Then you're gonna need some fat-free mozzarella cheese, and you're also gonna need some 2% mozzarella cheese. So for the pot pie cups, you're gonna need some healthy request cream of chicken. You're gonna need some canned chicken breast. You're gonna need some canned sweet peas and you're gonna need some canned carrot slices. Okay, so now we're gonna fill the quiche cups. Now this is actually two eggs, but I have only one yolk. And so for this little bonus one right here, all I'm gonna do is crack a whole egg in it and you guys are gonna die when you see how it cooks up it is so delicious now of course you can add whatever seasoning you like i don't think any of these need seasoning except for the little lone egg over here so now i'm going to stick this cupcake pan in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes i usually start checking at around 13 minutes but it typically takes about 15 minutes for these little cups to get as crispy as I would like them to be. And they're still good if they're not super, super crispy. They're still really, really good, but I like them really crispy. So let's go pop those in. Okay, so here we have them fresh out of the oven. I don't know if you can see the rise on those quiches. Look at that. It really rose up. Like I said, 15 minutes at 400. Check out this little egg right here. 
This is so delicious. It's a tad bit runny. It's not completely runny, but it's a little bit runny. So if you like sunny side up eggs, you're gonna love this. It, it tastes like you're eating kind of a sunny side up egg on toast, which is the way that I love to eat it. And then of course we got the pot pies and the pizzas there. Y'all, these are so good. I'm actually gonna cut these in half so that you can see what they look like. I'm not gonna cut the pot pies in half. The pot pies I actually eat in a bowl. Like I put both cups in a bowl and just kind of cut it up with a knife and a fork and it's just so good. It tastes exactly like a pot pie to me. And so, yeah, let me do that real fast. I want you to see real quickly how easy these come out of the pan. Look at that. They just come right out. I didn't even put any oil or anything on the bottom. Now look at this. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? You know, I, there's no way I could ever eat all of these. It's just way too filling, but my, my family loves them, so I'm gonna go share them with everyone. Okay, so this is what they look like cut in half. This looks like, you know, a quiche, and it is so delicious. These are actually my son's favorite. They are so delicious and so gooey. Look at that. Oh my God, they're so good. And then of course I have just the eggs. Now I think I should have taken these out a little sooner because I do like mine a little bit runny. These are not quite as runny as I like them. But yeah, that's what they look like on the inside. And then of course we've got the pot pie. I'm not gonna cut that because that's just gonna kind of spill out everywhere. Okay, y'all, I never do this because it grosses me out when other people eat on camera. But y'all, you have to try the pizza ones. It tastes just like a thin and crispy pizza. It's so gooey, it's so yummy. And listen to the crunch. You hear that? <laughs> oh my God. That is so, so good. It tastes just like a pizza. So that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to check out my description box. I'm gonna have everything broken down and I'm gonna have a lot of, you know, the nutritional value of each. And I'm gonna do it per two cups, like per two pizza cups, pot pie cups, and then quiche cups. And I'm gonna have it broken down into calories, fat, um, carbs, fiber, and protein so that you can check that out. I think you're gonna be shocked at how healthy some of these are. They have a lot of fiber and protein and fiber and protein is something that aging women need more than anything. And and then of course it's low fat. So, um, so you're not gonna be putting on the weight. I think you guys are gonna love these. I hope that you try them. I think you're gonna be so shocked at how similar they taste to, you know, the original, the original fattening versions. And yeah, and then you don't feel like you're missing out on anything and you get to satisfy those cravings. So it's just kind of a win-win. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and hopefully I'll see you back here next week.